All right, I got the sun in my face, I got the wind blowing. We've been doing these videos in one single take, and that's what we're gonna do today too. And this is rapid fire, because I'm gonna put this thing in the can, and I'm gonna ship it out to you tonight on YouTube. All right, so today we are talking about the KM3 tires. We were fortunate enough to get a set of the KM3 tires before they were available to the market. We work closely with BF Goodrich as part of the R&D and trial team when the KM3s first rolled off the factory assembly line, whatever you want to call it. So we got one of the earliest sets and therefore we probably have some of the largest number of miles on these tires of, of, any, of any rig. So how have they done? You guys ask me once a week, hey, how are those uh, KM3s uh, you know, holding up after all these years? Well, we've got well north of 45,000 miles on these and we have abused them. One, because of what we do, mud, sand, rocks, rock crawling, highway miles, lots of highway miles, and sand and mud and rock crawling. Hey, you guys, Members, new members, thank you very much for joining our community. Corey and I are shipping like crazy. We are getting caught up. And uh, Megan, who is a friend of ours and works with us, um, she's had to shelter in place, so she's not shipping orders. So Corey and I are doing everything we can to get orders shipped, and we're doing real well. We're making some progress. We're catching up. So thank you, new members. Today, best name, best new member name, Jackson Winner. <laughs> you, sir are the winner of the day for the best name. These KM3s have been through it all. Um, and some because of what we do and some because of negligence. Now things happen in life, you guys. I'm, this is some preamble because internet. Maybe these tires drove from the tip of Cabo San Lucas to the San Francisco Bay Area. And maybe when they did, maybe they were aired down the entire way. Well, they've held up really well. You guys can see the tread depth. I'm sh showing you some images right now, some B-roll footage of the tread depth. And they're doing very well for all of the miles that we've put on them. Hey, things happen. You get in an argument with your girlfriend or your wife, your dog barks or whatever. Things happen. It's life. Life is drama. And so sometimes you forget to air up hypothetically. They've done really, really well. Now the true question is, would I um, get the mud terrains again or would I get all terrains the next time around? For most people, I recommend the all terrains. I'm going to stick with BF Goodrich, not sponsored. I've used BF Goodrich tires for decades. So would I go with an all-terrain or would I go with the KM3 again? What's the difference you ask? I'm glad you asked. Well, the all-terrain is a more well-rounded all-purpose tire as the name might imply. It performs a bit better in the rain and the ice and the snow and other situations. This has a super aggressive tread and it clears mud. That's why it's a mud terrain tire, so that you have traction in the mud. What would I go with? I'd go back with the KM3 mud terrains because for our purposes, we want that versatility. We want the mud clearing capability. And one of the goals of BFG with this new generation of mud terrain tire, high plant, is um, streetability and road noise and they did a really good job on both those fronts. These are more streetable, meaning that they track in a straight line better, and the road noise is really not that bad. I can hear them a little bit if I'm paying attention, but the hum of a aggressive mud terrain tire is very moderate for the type of tire that it is. Now, it, it's not scientific, but I also feel better because of the depth and the aggressiveness of the tread. I feel like when I'm slamming down the trail or going over rocks that I have more protection to my tire. And I've been on many trips where other folks, not going to name names, other folks have popped tires and we have been just fine. So that's what I would go with again. All right, you guys, hey, hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. As I said, we are doing 
content every single day. So that's why this is so rushed. You guys are kind of seeing behind the scenes here. You guys stumble over my words. I can't think of what to say and I'm not cutting it out. So there it is. You guys just got to deal with it. Thank you very much. You guys mean the world to us. Thanks for hanging out with us uh, uh, over the last few weeks. We really appreciate it. Till tomorrow, we will see you then. All right, you guys, take care. We'll get out on the trail soon. Just plan your adventure for now. All right, talk to you soon.